Iowa, the heart of the nation's agricultural belt, and home to the world's richest farmland, ripe with corn and soybean fields. As a leading agricultural center, Iowa draws people from around the globe seeking the latest advancements in farming. However, with the recent completion of the environmentally sensitive Iowa River Bridge, the state is also drawing attention for its innovative bridge design and construction that not only preserved the Iowa Greenbelt, but brought about the long-anticipated completion of US-20 from Dubuque to Fort Dodge. The original US-20, constructed in the 1920s, was a narrow, meandering road that was designed for less traffic and slower speeds. Then, in the 1960s, the Iowa Department of Transportation began modernizing the old road, replacing it with a four-lane highway. But it was never able to fully complete the route for financial and environmental reasons. As a result, portions of US-20 in Hardin and Grundy counties remained unfinished for nearly 30 years, forcing motorists to drive through many small towns, slowing the flow of traffic and inhibiting economic growth. It got to the place where the, the Iowa River Greenbelt area on the Iowa River was, was, was obvious it was going to be a kind of a problem area for us to work through because of a lot of environmental concerns by citizens who thought the Iowa River Greenbelt was something that was very special and very unique, and it was. It was also equally obvious that we had to get through there. And so the question became, how do you do it? And these things take a lot of time to work through because there are so many, so many issues to deal with, so many people that are, have strongly held beliefs on each side. Today, US-20 is a continuous four-lane highway from Dubuque, a city on the state's eastern border, to Fort Dodge, 200 miles to the west. With the completion of the most recent 27-mile section, motorists will save an estimated 16 minutes of travel time. The improvements to this corridor have the potential to positively impact the economies of communities located along the route. So modern, four-lane, or multi-lane, safe, convenient highways are good for everybody. They're good for the state, they're good for the, for the local communities that will attract businesses, they're good for motorists. It's a win-win-win all the way around.